In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install and get familiar with the Royal Caribbean app. We start by going to the Play Store. This is on an Android phone. And we search for Royal Caribbean app. And we find it. Uh, we go ahead and click the uh, download button. It'll download and then it'll install. And as we go through this process, uh, you'll find this app is so useful both uh, in uh, planning your cruise. Uh, before you get on the ship, you'll use it for several things. And then after you're on the ship, it'll be an invaluable piece of your, t of your equipment that you'll use. So it's definitely worth doing. I won't say you couldn't cruise without it, but it makes things very easy. In another video, I'll show you how to do the check-in process uh, at Royal Caribbean using the app. We're just finishing up the install process now. And as soon as we get the install process completed, we'll go ahead and click the, the open button, which just popped up. Now in just a second, it'll ask us to log in. I already created a, a user ID and password on the Royal Caribbean app. So I'll just click a sign in. Now we'll put in the username and the password. So now that I have uh, the password in, well, what we see is, is the app is looking up my cruises because I hadn't told it anything yet. So it'll go in and look at my Royal Caribbean account. And it'll find my cruise. Or if you have multiple cruises uh, booked, it'll find all of them. In this case, I just have the one coming up on the Adventure of the Seas. And it's uh, working on uh, retrieving the data. When it pops up, we'll have a uh, ship. So what we'll start with, and we'll click at the icon at the, uh, on, the, on the left side there at the top that looks like the ship. And when we do that, we'll start to see a deck map of the ship. So we can click on the deck maps and then take a look through the different decks where everything's located. This is deck five. Uh, we'll take a look at decks three and four, but it, this works for all of the decks. There's deck four. I'll take a quick jump down to deck three. And so we can start to get a really good idea of what the different areas of the ship, where they are. Uh, you can use the app if you, if you want to find a specific one. So for example, if you're looking at a dining venue, you can click on the dining venue and it'll show you a, a map. This gives us some uh, insight into the different venues that exist. So for example, the flow rider, you can find the restrictions information about it. We go down and we can look at uh, just all of the different areas on the ship and the things there are to do, plus some things to do on Coco Cay. If we click on the uh, dining tab, we'll find uh, the specialty restaurants listed. And for example, if we looked at Chops Grill, we could click uh, on the menu there and we'd start to see what they had to eat. We're gonna do an entire uh, series of videos on the different restaurants and what they have so you can look at all of the menus to uh, start planning your dining choices. I know I'm already looking at it. It talks about room service here. And then uh, we also have our main dining rooms as well. It'll show you all the entertainment venues. Now I'm about a almost a month out from the cruise. So the choices for entertainment don't show when the shows are yet. That information will show up in the app later on. But you can start to get an idea of what's where again. Uh, we've got all of our basic shopping. So those of you that want to spend some money on the ship won't have any trouble being separated from it. Uh, it lists the excursions. So day one, we're in NASA. Uh, so the, we have a couple of choices before the cruise in Nassau. Uh, and gives you, again, the information about the cruise, duration, what you should wear, um, what's, what's there for you. After you've had a chance to review the information, uh, we'll go and take a look at a couple of other quick tours here. So we'll look at uh, Grand Bahamas. 
Now we're going to look at the, the uh, spa and again information about the spa, how to make reservations. There is also cosmetic treatments and give you a kind of a rundown of what's available. So for those of you that like to be pampered, you can do that here. It gives you the two main fitness areas, the track and the fitness center where they are. And then the different services that are available on board the ship. Uh, all of it is uh, very nicely laid out. It makes it easy to find what you're looking for. So we're going to click over to our daily planner. And so day one where is when we depart, we're in NASA on the Bahamas. And uh, we can start to see that we have a choice of views. We have the daily planner or the calendar view. And then if we go over to the little person, you, there's information about your account. We'll look at that more when we set up uh, our check-in. So as we, as we go again, now we can look through the various choices that are available. Uh, day two, we're in uh, Grand Bahamas in Freeport, so we can look at the choices that are available. And there's some attractive options available for shore excursions in Freeport. And then days three and four, we're going to be in Coco Cay. So I'll take a look at some of the things there. And we can explore all of these in a little more detail in another video. Day four is going to be basically the same. And then uh, day five is going to be a sea day for us. And a sea day, it tells you that you have to use the app. Uh, and that's where you find all of the activities happening on board the ship. So that's basically a short note there that tells you that. Go back to the calendar. Day six, we're in Cozumel. So we'll take a quick look at some of the Cozumel excursions. But you can see how... Uh, convenient this is to go ahead and lay out and make your plans uh, for your cruise to decide what you want to do. Day seven will be a sea day again. And we also have this taste of royal. This happens in Giovanni's table. And then day eight, uh, we're debarking and there is a uh, Nassau City sightseeing tour if you want to uh, take that. We're also going to go in here and take a quick look at uh, some of the dining options. Again, you've got the chef's table, chops grill. There is a menu for all of these uh, items here, so you can look to see what's being served in the in this one. They show you each course and the wine pairing that goes with it. This is an extra charge event. Uh, the menu looks amazing, though. We kind of took a look down through it. We'll go back out to the list of uh, restaurants. And what we'll see is we've got Chops Grill, Giovanni's, uh, the Sushi, Johnny Rockets, Room Service, lots of options. And if we click on the main dining room, one of the things that's really slick with the, this, and this is the first cruise line I've seen it on, in that we can get our menus ahead of time. So we can look at each day's menu. And for my wife and I, we booked the specialty dining package. And so we, we've already started to make reservations for which days we're going to eat on my time dining in the dining room. Now, you can't make reservations for the specialty restaurants until you get on the ship. And you have two different views here. You have a calendar view and then the activity view. Just take a quick look at that. I thought I had uh, some events, but uh, we booked a, a dining uh, at 7 o'clock. Uh, on the daily planner, but it didn't show up because it hasn't had time to process it. After you make a reservation, it may take a day or so for the information to show up. But that's a quick look at uh, the uh, app. Uh, we found it very intuitive. Hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'll see you in the next video.